Barbara Richmond and Peggy Ermitt were the best of friends throughout their entire lives. Both were devastated when they lost their sons to the AIDS epidemic. With the help of their son's friends, these two mothers decided to commit the remainder of their lives in fighting the epidemic by founding the Richmond Ermit AIDS Foundation. It was two moms who founded the organization, conceived the idea. They called my partner, Joe Seiler, and I, and said, would they like to help us, have us help them put on a benefit? So we thought, sure, we can do that. And it kind of took a life of its own, and we're just along for the ride. I had a friend who was on the board, and he got me coming to the shows, and then I started volunteering with the agency. And the more I volunteered, the more interested I was in making a bigger commitment. We make sure that we support our community, um, all the different programs that normally wouldn't receive funding that would go to the larger organizations. So by us, you know, providing fundings to like Meals of Marin, you know, um, it enables people to to have resources that they normally wouldn't be able to get. I really like the fact that they take the little bit of money that they get and they multiply it many times over, so a donation to Reef ends up being five times as much by the time we give it to our beneficiaries. I started um, working with AIDS, AIDS patients, hospice in 1984. So I've been with it a long, long time. I was doing 42nd Street, and I remember one of our boys had AIDS, and I remember thinking at the time, my Lord, I, I know somebody with AIDS. I thought I would never know another person. I thought it was some, you know, exotic, little known, well, it was little known, of course. Little did I realize the pain and sorrow it would cause the world. I had a wonderful friend, Robert Hoppe, a wonderful artist. He did um, uh, paintings of like people in the chorus coming downstairs in Broadway shows. Oh, he was a wonderful artist and he was taken with AIDS. And to the end, he had a wonderful sense of humor. The doctor came to his house when he was very bad and he said, you know, if you keep your legs up, Keep your legs elevated, you'll feel better. And he said, that's how I got here in the first place. <laughs> he was a great, great man. I miss him to this day. I'm shocked that I'm still having to do it. Any of us are still having to do it. I thought by now we would have progressed more. We certainly have progressed. When I first knew my friends who had it, I knew it was a death. That is not true now, but it, with that came a certain complacency, and I think that's to be avoided at all costs. I will say, thank God, it seems to me that fewer people are dying from it because they do have better medications, but there's not a cure. And the people in Africa, people in other nations are suffering terribly from it. So it's time that we got the cure, and I think it's out there. You're doing something that's helping someone. And it's amazing to me that more people don't do it because it makes one feel so good about themselves, you know? And it's a good feeling. And we want to make it a lot more. We're trying to keep growing this. And with the help of the public, and who will hopefully keep coming out, we can grow this and double that, triple that, and just keep it going. I can, it's touched me to the bottom of my soul, and I will continue doing it. I will continue doing everything I can do. Help is on the way for the holidays will be held at the Herbst Theater across the street from San Francisco City Hall on Sunday, December 3 at 7.30 p.m. For more information about the Richmond Urban AIDS Foundation, point your web browsers to helpisontheway.org or telephone them at 415-931-0317. In San Francisco, this is Raymond Donald Hong for Outlook Video.